So I'm working on the camper again today and I thought I would uh, keep you all updated on what's going on. So I've clipped together a few of the videos that I've taken today while I was figuring things out. Today's goal is to find out where the wires go, if they work, and look at that water thing and see what that's all about. Okay, here is the electrical mess at the front of the trailer um, that connects the trailer electricity and lights to the car. So it looks like at some point this was a seven pin connector that has been converted, and I use that word crudely, um, to a four pin connector. I did find at the hardware store today a real seven pin, four pin converter. So I will be um, changing that so that it's something that is a little bit safer, hopefully, and actually will increase the functionality in the trailer. I'm pretty sure this red wire here, these wires go to the um, electronic braking system. Hopefully that still works. Um, and then the rest of it is electricity and the lights uh, for the trailer. So that's one of my projects to work on. So I plugged in um, the camper and I tested the this main wire here and it was hot so I put in an outlet. So let's turn on the light and see if it works. Yay! Ta-da! So that's not a huge accomplishment because all I did was hook up an outlet. Um, but at least I know that the power box works and that this main power cord works. So I have electricity. Okay, so I put a little bit of water um, into this holding tank here. Um, I don't know if there's enough to actually create any pressure, enough to get it to the sink. I did underneath here, oh, you can't really see very well. Um, I hooked up the drain to the sink and tested that and it works appropriately as I would expect it to. So there's a little bit of water in that holding tank. Let's see if anything happens. I don't know how it works. Okay, nothing happened in there. Nothing happened in there. So, there may not be enough water in there to um, create pressure, or there's something else wrong. So, let me check it out. Okay, so the water holding tank thing didn't work, and I've got a few ideas of why. So, we plugged up the hose. To the outside and oh look at that yummy okay so that works like it's supposed to I think and the drains working so we're good there so we know that one's for that I don't know what this thing does yet probably for the alternate water source. So, that works. I can have water. Woohoo! Okay, so here's where I am today so far. Um, trailer lights worked when I bought the camper and now they don't. So I need to figure out what happened there. Um, this wiring, uh, this white these two wires um, stop right here. It's part of the trailer system. At one point it had a seven pin electrical system and it was um, basically, as I showed you earlier, just cut off to be down to four. So I'm going to get a seven pin to a four pin converter and hook everything up and see what happens. But of course this isn't going to go anywhere. So I need to look at some trailer wiring diagrams and find out where they're supposed to go. Uh, the other thing is this water tank um, wasn't working the way I thought it was, but I didn't fill up the tank very far. Um, so I think that the pressure was part of it. I don't know how the water is supposed to get from way down there around behind this. And then it comes, you can't see it here, but it comes up into the sink. There's got to be some sort of pressure thing going on there and this wire um, or this hose right here is all kinked behind the wheel well so of course no water is going to come through anyway but I don't like the fact that the source for this supposedly fresh water tank goes right out to the outside of the camper where anybody could really put anything into my fresh water supply so that whole thing's going to come out anyway because I just don't like it and I don't think it's safe 
So I'll look at some other sort of water storage system um, for when I don't have water hooked up. The sink does work when it's hooked up to a hose, but it leaks from the outside. So I'll need a new connector there. Um, but the drain seems to be working and yeah, so, so that's that. So that's where I am right now. I need to figure out where I want outlets to go now that I know my power supply does work. Um, and that, that wire is hot and works the way it's supposed to. So I'll need to decide where I want to put my outlets and get those installed. And then at least I'll have electricity when I'm someplace where there's power. After that, um, I'm going to be looking at a solar system for a supplemental power or when I'm off grid. Thanks.